Well, this is a little surprise. I have felt like I wanted to do some more videos. So a couple of weeks ago, I asked the community what you would like me to talk about and cover in some of these videos. So what I wanted to do was actually make a few extra videos per week just so I can get through those questions that you have been asking. So today I wanted to answer one of your questions and that is on how to trust yourself knowing that when you make a decision, it's going to be the right decision. And this is really important for those of us who perhaps haven't trusted ourselves in the past, perhaps because of some of the things that happened to us in the past, we didn't have that trust within ourselves. And so we're now making decisions a little bit hesitantly going, is this going to give me the results that I want? So I wanted to go through a process that will help you to feel confident in the decisions that you are making, knowing that you can trust yourself. So that is what we are doing today. My name is Headley. If you'd like to know more about me or my offerings, including one-to-one -one law of assumption coaching, my self-concept course, I am the one, or my book, I am money, which will completely transform your relationship with money. You will find all of those details in the box below this video or at my website, youarethone.com.au. But before we get into it, if I could ask you to do just one very quick, simple thing, and that is to press the subscribe button. If you are enjoying my channel and you are enjoying my videos, that would be much appreciated. Thank you so much. So I have just been feeling the creative call to make some more videos. I do love making my videos and I will be doing Doing that over the next few weeks as I get through the questions that you asked me on my community channel or the community page where I posted a few weeks ago asking for what you wanted to hear on this channel and the topics that you wanted me to talk about. So I wanted to start with the question from her that's me eight. Thank you so much. And the question was on trusting myself and my decisions that my decisions are done. So how do we trust ourselves and know that the decisions that we have made are the right decisions and that they are done? That is what I wanted to cover off today. And just excuse this light. It is a beautiful day here. The sun is shining and I wanted to make this video before this light actually moves across to the center of my face, which often happens in my coaching appointments. And I'm sort of having to dodge dodge the light. Okay. Trusting yourself and trusting the decisions that you are making. This is really important, especially if you have come from a past where you were not taught to trust yourself, where you were taught to trust authority figures or other people in your reality, and you were not given the skill of decision-making. Decision-making is a skill that if you're healthy, you will pass that skill on. But if you're not healthy, then you don't want people around you to be able to make decisions for themselves. You want them to lean on you or rely on you because that sense of need can be mistaken for a sense of love. So if you grew up with caregivers who did not pass that skill on, that's okay. We're not here to play the blame game. We're just here to become more aware of why things are the way they are and knowing that we can change them once we are aware of the way things are. So if this has been your experience where you're having trouble trusting yourself, perhaps you've made some decisions in the past that haven't gone well, that have led to you doubting your ability to make good decisions that are in your best interest, then this is really going to help because there's something really important that's happening when we are making decisions that we have all forgotten. So I want to take you through the process of being able to trust yourself when making a decision, knowing that the decision you are making is always and forever only the right decision for you. But we have to set it up in order for that to be the case. Let's go back to the beginning. And that is consciousness is the one and only reality. And reality is nothing more than the reflection of consciousness. So as you can see in this diagram here, consciousness and reality, while they appear to be different, they are actually the same. And consciousness is being projected on reality and reality is simply reflecting that consciousness back. So even though we experience reality as something that appears outside of us, it is nothing more than a reflection of what is going on inside of us. So decisions and result, if we place decisions up here in consciousness, because that is where we make the decisions first, that then gets projected out and reflected back as a result. So you have decision in consciousness and results in reality. The law of polarity applies just as it does with consciousness and reality. The law of polarity applies within decisions and the results of those decisions. 
As we know, everything contains a positive and negative charge. So every decision contains the positive and negative charge. Every result contains the positive and negative charge. However, as we know, reality gets reflected back in reversed. So while consciousness is positive, negative, reality is negative, positive. The reason we need to know this is because every decision that you make has both the positive and negative charge. Every result in reality has the potential to be either positive or negative. It's entirely up to the observer. That's you. That's the I am. So if you have a negative assumption going into the decision making that is going to be producing a negative result in reality. If you're making a decision from the positive perspective, you are going to get a positive result in reality. So I want to give you an example of how this works because I myself have had to build up that trust within myself as well, just like many of you. And that is a process over time, but I can tell you that doing this has helped me. But I want to give you an example of prior to coming into law of assumption when I didn't have that and I made decisions unconsciously from a negative state of consciousness. So back in 2014, it might have been earlier, 2013, anyway, I don't know, time is irrelevant, but it was a long time ago. I invested a large amount of money with a financial advisor and that advisor charged me a significant fee to invest that into a managed fund. I kept the money with him for a couple of years and I noticed that at the end of the year, I was receiving the statement and I could see that his fees were really like huge. I was really pissed off by this. I felt taken advantage of and I felt a lot of negativity towards him. So what I did was I decided that I would take the money out of the account and I was going to invest it myself. So I took the money out in that state of negativity and I invested it myself into the stock market and I just bought a number of blue chip shares very quickly <laughs> that money <laughs> dropped significantly in value possibly if I recall correctly it was probably like 30 percent I lost 30 <laughs> percent of my investment and I was very sheepish and I just thought, oh my God, I have just made the worst decision. Like that was just such a dumb thing to do. And for several years, I just gave myself such a hard time because I had done that. I would rather him to have taken the money that he was taking rather than lose the amount of money that I ended up losing on that decision. Now, as many of you know, I wrote the I am money story because I realized I had a super negative money story across multiple areas, not just investing in the stock market, which really, yeah. Anyway, so when I came into law of assumption, I realized that that was a story I needed to change, that that was something that I needed to revise. Now, even though I'm still sitting on a loss from that investment, rather than a 30% loss, I'm at a 22% loss. So I am seeing myself regain the money that I originally lost in that investment. However, I can see it one or two ways. I can either see it as a 22% loss or I could see it as an 8% gain on that loss, which is how I'm choosing to see it. Because depending on which version I look at in terms of that decision, I'm either going to see loss or I'm going to see gain. And whichever one I focus on is what I'm going to get more of. So the more I focus on the gains that I am now receiving, having rewritten that story and changed my assumptions about that decision, I am now seeing that money coming back. So in order to know that you are making the right decisions, keeping in mind that every result in reality has both a negative and positive charge, meaning the potential for that result can either be negative or positive based on the state of consciousness you're in when you make the decision. In order to be in the right state of consciousness when you're making decisions means you simply have to hold the assumption of making the right decision. So in order for you to trust yourself to know that whatever decision you're making is the right one means you simply have to hold the assumption prior to making the decision. And the assumption that I would suggest you hold is, I am the infinite I am of my reality. I am infinite knowing and I am always making the best and right decision that is for my highest good. It is done. It is done it is done. By holding that assumption, when you make a decision, you are going to produce a result that matches up with that assumption. 
You are more likely to get a positive result in reality when you hold a positive assumption about your ability to make decisions prior to making the decision. Now, let's say you hold that assumption and you make a decision and the result appears negative. You can go back and look at, well, I know that I'm the infinite I am and I am infinite knowing and I am making the best decisions that are for my highest good. Therefore, this result, which may appear negative, must somehow be positive. Even though it appears negative, that's the way it needs to be in order to produce a positive result. I don't know how that's going to be. And this is the key. As long as you are holding the assumption that you are a good decision maker and whatever decision you make is going to be the right one, then that result must be the right one, even if it appears negative right now. We don't know how these things get reflected back in reality. We just have to know that as long as we're holding the right assumptions, they have to be reflected back in the right way because consciousness is the one and only reality. And reality is nothing more than the reflection of the assumptions we're holding in consciousness. So in order for you to trust yourself and to know that you are making the right decisions and that those decisions are done, you must be holding the right assumption prior to making the decision that is going to produce the result in reality. So any decision that you have made that you regret making, you can revise it now. And in fact, I would suggest that that's what you do. And by revising those decisions, you can then envision the right outcome and then hands off, let reality do its magic dance, which it will because reality is nothing more than a reflection of what you are doing in consciousness. So have a go with that. I hope that answered your question. You know that you can trust yourself knowing that whatever result in reality is always going to be for your highest good. And we do not know how that unfolds. This is where we get to experience the adventure in third dimensional form. So enjoy the adventure, <laughs> report your success back. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video, which will be sooner rather than later. So I'll see you then. Bye.